a lot of YouTube community members that will like highlight themselves as the example of success, right? Um, that is one model, but I, I don't think that it is the model that, I mean, I definitely think it's important from the standpoint of like giving people insights to who I am and how I work and being vulnerable. Like I definitely want to be vulnerable and show, um, just be authentic basically, right? Like who am I and how do I show up in this world? But from the standpoint of, um, of inspiring students, I, th I think diversity in, um, in representation is really important um, for the learning code. So one of the things that, one of the practices that I want to get in the habit of doing is finding examples of students who uh, exhibit really, really strong practices and perhaps even metacognitive uh, understanding of the, the principles behind those practices and letting them speak for themselves to channel some of what we're doing in the learning code. Um, to do that, I have to, I think it's good that we're building a platform because we can, as I, as I interact with students and as you guys interact with students, we can then do those interviews. And I would say that's much more like the video, as I'm learning about video influencers, they do that a lot, right? They find uh, YouTube influencers and they interview them as a way to highlight different ideas that are on YouTube and then also bring creativity into it. I don't, I, I'm not particularly worried right now. Um, video influencers is a um, business plan as much as it is a, um, a YouTube channel. And I respect that. What I'm thinking a lot about when I'm talking about this is uh, system navigation and system transformation. And so that's right now, that would be my major focus that, that I can develop habits